breaking news from WPTV News Channel 5. We begin with that breaking news out of Stewart. Police have reopened both the north and southbound lanes of the Roosevelt Bridge after closing them for a few hours tonight because of a report of possible cracking. Let's get right to WPTV's Meg McRoberts. She's live with the very latest, Megan. That's right, the roads reopened just within the last half hour, or so maybe even just the last 20 minutes or so after FDOT crews that we spoke to out here on the scene said does not appear there are any structural issues out here. But just to recap, there was someone who called police around 7 o'clock this evening. They were walking in this area. They looked underneath the bridge here behind us and they saw what appeared to be a crack in the northbound lanes and a chunk of concrete missing from the southbound lanes. FDOT crews came out here immediately. Stewart Police and the Martin County Sheriff's Office closed off the roadways right away. FDOT went inside the bridge. It's basically hollow. There's basically tunnels inside the bridge. They were able to get into this area. They did not find any corrosion on the inside of the bridge. Then from the river outside, they came by on a boat, the sheriff's office boat, and with lights and closely underneath the bridge, they examined what appeared to be that crack and that chunk of concrete missing. But again, tonight confirming it appears that it is just a cosmetic issue, no structural issues. It is again safe for drivers to be on the bridge. That's the latest here in Stewart reporting live. I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5. Megan, thank you. All this brings flashbacks to 2020. The bridge was closed over the summer then for big repairs after the Coast Guard warned it was in danger of, quote, imminent collapse. Then, too, it began with a report later confirmed in that case that concrete had fallen from the southbound span.